<laughs> What's up, y'all? So, I live on the East Coast, New York. What's up? So, in New York, we do not have an In-N-Out. We don't. It just don't happen. It's not here. It's not for us. Just like we don't have, uh, um, I forgot what the other one was, Whataburger. We don't have that either. So, here's your fat man. <laughs> so, today, I'm going to attempt the Flying Dutchman Burger. I have a pound of ground beef here. I haven't seasoned it yet. I have my onion here. And I have my mayo, ketchup, pickles, you know, um, my seasonings. So that way I can season my burger and make the special sauce. I'm not sure what the special sauce is fully made of, but I'm attempting it. It's going to happen. We about to go down. Okay, so I seasoned my ground beef. Whoop, started making patties. And then I cut my onions. I would say it's like a quarter inch thick maybe maybe a, little, maybe a little bit more boom so i got a bunch of these and i got my meat and i'm about to make my sauce all right y'all so i'm about to make this sauce i got my my hot grill pan here i'm about to throw two burgers now they said when you do it you're supposed to have them as a smash burger okay i put that there and then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to smash it down a little bit too. They said it's supposed to be a smashy burger. I'm going to do a smashed. Smashed ED. So it's skinny, but not too skinny. So I got the burgers down. Okay. Then I'm going to take my onions. I'm only taking two. and put it down. Now, I got my onion in the pan. And I'm gonna work on the sauce. They said the sauce was mayo. Now, I've seen three different recipes. They all had something different. What they all had in common was mayo, ketchup, and relish. One of them added mustard, some of them don't. So, with my special sauce, I usually add a little bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard. But maybe I'll just do the mayo ketchup relish and see how it comes out. Okay. Got it in this little cup, a little handy dandy cup. I'm just eyeballing it. That's how I make my special sauce. I eyeball it, taste it, eyeball it, taste it, eyeball it until it gets to the consistency and proper taste you want. Because nobody wants a more ketchupy or more mayo-y or more relishy sauce. It has to be even amount in order for it to be delicious. Too much ketchup. See, I knew it. A little mayo. Mix it back. Okay, lift it, dip it. Just about there. A little bit more mayo and it is gonna be perfect. So, boom. Okay, now I got the sauce done. Now I'm about to flip and let's see. Oh, beautiful crust, beautiful crust. Oh yeah, look at that crust. Let's see. Now these don't strike me to be, ooh, okay, it's not quite done yet. So we're going to let it cook, and then we're going to flip it again and let it recook. Alright y'all, it's the moment of truth. Alright, so I got the onion. The two cheeseburgers. Oh yeah. A little bit of that sauce on top.
And there you have it, the Flying Dutchman. I'll let you know how it is later.